Yes, thank you so much. Um, good morning, uh, everyone. So, um, next slide. Uh, I have... Yes. So, next slide. So, in fact, the last uh, feedback we gave, uh, you can change the slide. The, the last feedback we gave was um, aston astonishingly three years ago, precisely in, in March uh, before the pandemic starts. So, we thought, uh, what could we say to you on the three years um, um, working uh, activities from CHMP, which were amazingly uh, during this period. So we decided to focus on um, uh, the feedback we we want to give you to on the uh, an initiative we started uh, in um, in twenty 2020, in twenty twenty one, which is the CHMP early contact with patients organizations. We had a first uh, pilot phase, and we are now uh, routinely doing these. And then we would like also to give some numbers on the participation or the interactions of healthcare professional patients in the context of CHMP activities. Next slide. So on this, on this um, early contact with patients organizations, maybe some of you already know of this initiative. The issue was that um, um, uh, routinely patients and representatives and also healthcare professionals are involved in the assessment of uh, CHMP uh, um, procedures, but they are usually uh, intervene late on the procedure, especially when there are major objections. So the the assessment is not going so so straightforward, and we need the input from the the real world. So the the aim. And, and in that sense, sometimes it is too late to make a, a different uh, uh, orientation of the assessment. So the aim of, it, of this uh, pilot was to um, make these current uh, engagement practices more uh, efficient, more early, uh, so that can be um, of an added value. So we wanted uh, that CHMP uh, would be aware of all certain aspects of um, the disease uh, uh, quality of life, the treatment options, and the true and met medical needs. So since the beginning of the assessment and not in the late stage of it. So we went, we expected to facilitate also further interactions during the, the same procedure with, uh, with patients and uh, especially here in, in, with patients. In fact, this is uh, included in the CHMP work plan for the last uh, years and also at EMA's uh, regulatory science uh, strategy. Next slide. So here is more or less where patients uh, and healthcare professionals uh, can intervene during the EMA activities. And the aim of the, 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 this um, initiative is to uh, get the involvement of patients uh, since the first day of the time, uh, the timetable of the assessment, which uh, can last uh, 210 days. So the, the aim, uh, the pilot started with selection of uh, orphan uh, marketing authorization applications. And then uh, patients' uh, organizations were invited to um, uh, share key aspects uh, of, uh, of their perspective uh, of living with the disease. And this was uh, done uh, with some time before the first assessment of CHMPs that occurs at day 80 of the, of the, uh, the timetable. Um, then this information would be shared with the rapporteurs and, then, uh, and also with, um, with the applicants and uh, for uh, transparency issues. And then the rapporteurs would decide if this information was really an added value and uh, useful for the assessment uh, itself. And in the end, if it would be uh, worth it to include in the assessment report. And uh, after this pilot, uh, there was some um, EMA colleagues um, uh, raised a short questionnaire to rapporteurs uh, to check if uh, the, there was some value of uh, the input uh, from patients that were received during the assessment. Next slide. Uh, this, uh, the outcome report of the pilot is uh, published in the EMA website, so you can uh, then check it uh, later. Uh, next slide. So I must say that in, in general we were kind of 
proud of the outcome of this pilot because this started uh, in July, well, August 2020 with a group of uh, CHMP members and uh, EMA colleagues um, and we defined this pilot and it was over 17 months. Uh, there was contribution on 37 procedures and the rapporteurs in general were very positive with the input. They they found it is useful and um, in the in some in in great majority uh, make a difference in the assessment report of the first assessment report especially 41 percent of the cases really contributed to this uh, to this assessment so the input we gave or uh, we received from patients were more or less related with daily impacts treatment options perspectives and perceptions of the adverse event effects of the current treatments uh, what would constitute an important improvement because sometimes the 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 uh, the, the small improvement uh, for us uh, uh, it can be a great improvement for patients and also what would be the the wish for the new treatments for patients um, and the pilot now is uh, is finished in the July 2022 and is now a current methodology that we are planning to extend also to um, to uh, um, healthcare professionals thank you. next slide I gave you in two examples where the patient engagement um, uh, was included in the assessment report. This one is from a Fabry disease uh, medicine uh, medicinal product uh, that is uh, uh, included that was included in the CHMP day 100 list of questions. So the first list of questions that go goes to the applicants, and the other uh, next slide. The other is also um, it's from a pump. Uh, uh, treatment next slide that uh, it is uh, uh, previous <laughs> it is on um, included in the day 180 second list of outstanding issues that means that uh, in the end it will be likely to be included in the CHMP assessment report report and then it is the EPAR from this product so the feedback from patients will be uh, publicly available next slide so now, like I said, the early contact methodology is now a regular activity. Uh, we are um, contacting uh, patient organizations every for um, for not only now for orphan but also other indications. And like I said, we are ex expecting to extend these also to eligible healthcare professional organizations. Next slide. So overall, since uh, uh, the end of the pilot, we get uh, about, um, let me check because <laughs> about, um, yeah, uh, about 20 in uh, procedures that we get uh, contributions from uh, fresh um, from patient uh, organizations. Uh, and you see we are already uh, getting into non-orphan products and uh, we are expecting the contributions for uh, this uh, six uh, procedures that started in January. Next slide. I would like to also to give some numbers on the current, uh, well, the, the usual CHMP uh, and patient uh, uh, interaction uh, on CHMP activities over these last three years. And we get from scientific advisory groups, so the SAGs that we had uh, talked about uh, before and ad hoc expert groups in these specific uh, um, areas, about 100 uh, uh, interactions over these three years uh, or about in about 50 meetings uh, of these uh, Groups, um, we have we have the, about almost 200 contributions of patients in scientific advice and protocol assistance, like your Danis mentioned, and also participation of patient representatives in oral explanations at the CHMP. About uh, 20 procedure, um, about 20 inter in interactions in these procedures that uh, are um, are uh, listed in the in the slide. So a very important contribution although already in the last stage of the procedure next slide for healthcare professionals the uh, interactions are about 
65 uh, during 20 and 21, also on the SAG and ad hoc expert groups, and the five contributions uh, uh, for scientific advice and protocol assistance. We don't have data uh, from 2022 because, according to EMA colleagues, uh, the methodology of counting the interactions changed, but maybe then we can uh, ask for um, um, further details uh, uh, from Maria. I think this is the last slide. Yes, thank you. I would like to thank um, Concha Prieto, that is also my colleague here uh, representing, and also Maria and Ivana for getting the data. Thank you.